What well, up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. I've come to the conclusion that the more I listen to people, the more I look at how people move, the more I read things that people say and watch the things that people say, it makes me understand more and more that a lot of people like being lied to. And y'all man, like, man, what you mean a lot of people like being lied? Don't nobody like to be lied to. I mean, you would think that that's the case, but the truth of the matter is, sometimes people seem to take on the attitude that accepting the lie is safer than facing the truth. And that can be said about a lot of things. It can be said about history. It can be said about... Uh, just tradition, certain things that we've traditionally participated in that we go into child mode, we don't want to hear it, you know, when somebody starts to reveal the truth about certain things. Um, but it also goes deeper into um, personal situations and personal relationships too. Like if there's somebody who is on the outside looking in, and they looking at your situation and they knowing that somebody that you... Um, connected with is deceiving you somebody is using you scamming you they just not right for you but you feel a certain way about that person and you don't want to hear nothing that the person that's in your best interest has to say that's looking out for your best interest you don't want to hear anything that they have to say but the lie that's being told to you by the deceiver shh you take that in and you use that as justification. Well, see, 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 man, she was with her cousin. Oh, well, now he, he, he said that he had to work late. <laughs> We're just more comfortable accepting the lie. And a lot of times we know deep down that it is a lie. But when you get comfortable and you feel that low self-esteem in your body and your mind and your spirit, you don't feel like you can do any better than the person that's doing you wrong. So, as bad as it might come off, the truth is a lot of people prefer being lied to. They prefer the illusion. The illusion of acceptance. The illusion of security. The illusion of validation from somebody who has no intentions of validating them, accepting them, or securing them. We accept these lies and uh, love these lies from our government. For hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years, they have lied and lied and deceived and promised and talked about what they're going to do and this and that, all the way up to the present day. And no matter how many times that the promise is broken, no matter how many times the disappointment is levied on us, we come right back, ready for the next lie. Bowing down at the foot of the liar, ready for the next lie. And we go out and we promote the lie. Vote for this one. Vote for this one. Why? Because he said he's going to do this. Oh, no, he's different. He says he's going to make this happen for us. And, da -da 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 -da. and then we just go out and we help market and promote the lie. No matter how many times that we don't receive the truth. So that pushes me to my thought of like, no, nah, we, must, we must like getting lied to. We, we love it. We have to love it. Because in most cases, we never remove ourselves from the circle of, of, of constant liars. We, we just get a towel and put some lye on and we just bathe and wash ourselves in it. Make sure to get, get it all on your face. We never remove ourselves. And again, 
Denial is a horrible trait to have. See, denial is when internally you know the truth. You know it's a lie. You know it's nonsense. But you just like, no, I can't. I just can't. It's better for me to deal with that from that person than it is for me to, to deal with the, the, the reality of the truth. The truth would just crush me. But it wouldn't. You think it would. You think that you wouldn't be able to go on. You think that you wouldn't be able to survive. You think that you wouldn't be able to function without supporting and backing liars and, and government and liars. And You love the lie. That's why we listen to a lot of the, the, uh, the songs we listen to. We love to jam out. Listen to the rappers lie. Hey, ooh, that boy lying. Ooh, that boy be lying. You know how he ride that beat while he lying? We love to immerse ourselves in the fantasy. It makes us start lying. So, regardless how <laughs> a person would tell you, oh man, I'd just rather you tell me the truth. What's going to happen when you do? They're going to lose their ever-loving mind. That's not to say you shouldn't still do it. Because some people lie to protect. To protect other people. They feel like, man, I, I tell them the truth. It's just going to destroy them. I, I, gotta, I can't tell him that that's not his real daddy. I can't tell her that we adopted her when she was a newborn. I can't I can't tell her that her mama was on drugs real bad. I, I can't. It's gonna crush him. Nah, it won't crush him. It might wound him. But once everything is explained in the context, you gotta let the chips fall where they may. And you got to un make people understand the um, the love that exists sometimes in a bad situation while you're telling them the truth. And if you do that, again, you got to let the chips fall where they may. But because you can't handle the truth as they say, don't assume that other people can't. But in the meantime, stop clinging to the lie. There are so many universal lies that have become just a part of us now that we just assume and accept as being the truth. And a lot of times, the, the lie, like Michael Jackson say, because a lie becomes the truth. Hey, hey. The lie becomes the truth when it's passed down through generations because now the people who are telling the lie don't even know the origins of it. It's your big brother K Reno. Hit me up, y'all. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button and be sure to leave a comment. Um, hopefully, these life lessons are tools that y'all can use as you move forward. Tune in to K Reno Radio um, tonight at 12 a.m. Central. Midnight Central time. So if y'all figure that out on y'all time zones, if you're, you're not in the Central time zone, and um, kpft.org is where you go to catch K Reno Radio. All right, man, it's your big brother, K Reno, RIP to the great Bill Russell. Peace.